Here's an easy way to make some extra money on a project by offering an additional page while you're working on a client's website. I'm talking about a coming soon page, but not the type of standard coming soon page like this or this. No, I'm talking about a coming soon sales page that not only helps you build some hype before your official website launch, but can also convert your client's traffic into leads and customers. You see, classic coming soon pages are kind of boring and they don't really provide a lot of information to your visitors, which means you could be potentially losing traffic before you even had the chance to launch your client's website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can maximize your pre-launch marketing with a coming soon sales page or landing page and help convert your traffic before your official launch. Let's go. So first of all, quick theory lesson. What is a coming soon page in general? A coming soon page is a temporary homepage that teases the launch of a full website, a new service, or maybe even a new product before it officially launches. It usually has some sort of engaging graphic, a short summary of what's coming, maybe some sort of countdown, some social links, and usually some sort of call to action usually to jump on a wait list to stay informed about the launch. Now, there are a couple of benefits of having a coming soon page. First, you can create a little bit of hype before the launch and grow your email list by prompting people to jump on the wait list. You can also grow your audience by promoting your other social media channels. And you do get a little head start on your SEO by carefully choosing the right keywords on that page. And up until recently, I was using a standard design for coming soon pages for my own clients until I had a project where we knew that the coming soon page will be up for quite some time, for about a month, a month and a half, until the full website, the full version of the website was ready for launch. That's a long time. And I was wondering if that little coming soon page would actually benefit my clients or work against them. Because during that period of time, my client, who's a photographer, she had a few trade shows scheduled. So she, we knew that she's going to be actively marketing her services. We knew that she would be getting a lot of traffic to her website. And my concern was that a simple coming soon page wouldn't really meet her audience's, her visitors' expectations and won't be able to convert that new audience that doesn't really know her yet. Because that's the thing, coming soon pages, standard coming soon pages work really well on a warm audience, people who already know about you, your services, your products, and your offers. When it's a cold audience, however, they may not be trusting enough or interested enough to jump on your launch wait list. So we had to get creative. And instead of having a classic coming soon page like this, this was our very first example, our very first draft, we decided to design a short coming soon sales page or a landing page. Simple, brief, with just enough information to tell the visitor about my client's services and showcase her beautiful work. So let me show you all the different sections that we designed on that sales page and perhaps you can adapt it to your own future projects. All right, so first up, we had this announcement bar at the top of the page that read that the full website is coming soon, but in the meantime, they're welcome to browse this version of the site and they're welcome to inquire, of course, about her services. And we wanted to make sure that on the hero, we really highlighted her services, what she specializes in, and also her location. Again, also to get a little head start on that SEO, right? We also wanted to make sure that we really showcase all of her beautiful photography. And that is something that wouldn't have been really possible with a fixed height coming soon page because we would be really restricted in terms of space that we have. We could put a slideshow, but would people really stick around to watch through the entire slideshow? So with a landing page, a coming soon landing page, you definitely have more space to highlight all of your client's beautiful work. Maybe it's products, maybe it's photography, like in my, in my client's scenario. 
We also had space to include testimonials, which is great. So, you know, to add a little bit of social proof. And again, because we knew that she was going to be heavily marketing her work, her business during that period of time during on trade shows, wanted to ensure to add that, that element of social proof for new visitors so that they can see that she has some fantastic work, but also that her clients really love working with her. We had an introduction of Emma herself, so, so for people to get to know her a little bit better. Uh, and finally, we wrapped up with an FAQ section. Because this is a very short page that is basically a little overview of her business and all that she's able to do for her clients, we didn't have a lot of time to go into her process, her studio, and other details that may be important for her clients. So we decided to add quite an extensive frequently asked questions section to add all of the possible questions that her visitors may be asking themselves as they browse this shorter version of her website, this coming soon sales page, uh, to ensure that all of their questions are answered. And in the end, she went to this little, uh, very sweet section of what her clients say, three words to describe their experience. So while this may have taken a little more time to put together than a classic coming soon page, which is why you can upsell your client to something like this, this brief sales page really helped ensure that any traffic that was coming my client's way wouldn't be disappointed by the lack of information. They could still learn about Emma and most importantly, see how great her work is. And the best part is that she ended up getting an inquiry 30 minutes after the coming soon page went live, which is exactly what we wanted. So thanks to this short landing page, not only she was confident driving new traffic to her website and promoting her site at the trade shows, but she was still getting leads and inquiries in the meantime. And of course, getting a little head start on SEO with more targeted content on that page. Of course, if your client site is due to go live in a couple of days, then maybe a short landing page isn't really necessary right now. But sometimes you may have a situation where you do need a temporary homepage that will be up for quite some time before the full website actually goes live. I know personally that when I built my first website, my own website for the very first time, I think I had a boring coming soon page live for months before I finished my own site. And now I wish I at least created a simple landing page to tell people a little bit more about me, about my services, and maybe showcase a couple of examples of my, my work. I'm sure I would have gotten way more inquiries and conversations with that than a simple, hey, website is under construction, but leave your email and I'll keep you updated. But we we'll live and we learn. So if you're in a situation where your clients may benefit from a coming soon page, then pitch them the idea of creating a temporary sales page to highlight their business and highlight their offerings while you're working on the full site. Explain to them that the benefit, not only from an SEO standpoint, but also how it could potentially convert a portion of their traffic into leads and customers. I hope you found this video useful and it gave you some food for thought on how to provide extra value to your clients. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.